An infamous part of Holocaust history is going up for auction in Maryland this weekend. The phone used by Hitler in the last years of World War II could fetch hundreds of thousands of dollars. WJZ is live in Chesapeake City in Cecil County. Devin Bartolotta got a look at this one-of-a-kind piece. Devin? Jessica, the auctioneer here in Chesapeake City calls this phone the most important piece of history to come through his doors, and he's stressing the importance of keeping that history alive. It's an artifact that survived a war, nearly 80 years, and a trip across an ocean. This is the amazing trophy of the red telephone, which my father took from the bunker. Adolf Hitler's red phone used to make some of the most horrific and disturbing calls during the bloodiest years of World War II is now up for auction. That's just a chilling artifact. Uh, there's no doubt it was used for a lot of, a lot of bad ends. Auctioneer Bill Panagopoulos tells WJZ the phone with Hitler's name and Nazi insignia embossed in the back. I believe it was presented to Hitler as a gift by the Wehrmacht, by the armed forces. Was recovered from Hitler's bunker. It sat in a closet in Britain for decades. Now expected to sell for more than two hundred thousand dollars. You can only imagine what was spoken through this handset. Panagopoulos is no stranger to World War II artifacts. A few years ago, he auctioned off Hitler's copy of Mein Kampf. This time around, he also has a porcelain German shepherd from Hitler's bunker. It's believed to have been made by prisoners and stamped with SS insignia. Who buys these types of things? The people who buy this material are people who love history. All of it centered around preserving real-life artifacts from our world history, no matter how grim their past. Uh, you have to preserve history, even though it might be bad or terrible. Now, that auction will take place here in Chesapeake City tomorrow morning. The phone will come up on the auction block on Sunday. Reporting live tonight in Chesapeake City, I'm Devin Bartolotta, WJZ Eyewitness News. Devin, thank you. Panagopoulos says that he's been contacted by all sorts of collectors about Hitler's phone, including a telephone museum.